And they did this over and over, and they collected all this data, and then they mapped it all. Here's what they found is that the students were zoning out within 30 seconds. 30 seconds of the professor beginning the lecture, they zoned out. Then they recognized that they were zoning out and they popped right back in. And the next huge dip occurred right around the five minute mark. When they recognized it, they popped back in and they started to zone out again. And it happened about every four minutes or so after that. Now this was an, about a 45 minute to a 60 minute lecture. And as it progressed, the waves started getting more condensed. And they started happening about every two minutes where they were zoning out. And they were catching it, and they were coming right back in, but they were zoning out. Now what they also found is that this was a professor who was doing nothing more than lecture. That's it. Not even what I've been doing of asking you to raise your hand or sharing a story. It was just lecture. Aaron, you mentioned that, right? About people who just, all they're doing is just giving lecture. It's just, it's theory. That's all I'm getting. What they found is that when the speakers took some of these items that we were talking about and implemented them, it kept it much higher. So what have we found with our nine minute model? This. In the nine minute model, we we're able to keep the attention span much higher. Notice two things. First, at the 30 second mark, we don't have this huge dip. Why? Kevin's gonna share that with you. Remember the formula I said called Kava? That's how we avoid that. And he's going to share that with you later today so you can avoid that 30 second dip. After that, the five minute dip, it does start to come down, but we don't have nearly as high a dip because we recognize that five minutes that's going to happen. So what do we do? We construct the presentation in a way so that at the five minute mark, there's something that keeps that attention high. <laughs>